Hey everybody, Mitch Fox here. Welcome back to Fallout 76. You can see that uh, there's a dude right here. And I went to shoot him with this because um, I never did find a weapons bench to repair my uh, melee weapon. So uh, that's what I was greeted with when I uh, started this episode. <laughs> um, but yeah, never did find my uh, my weapons bench. Never did. But we did look in the Overseer's cache there. What are we doing? Well, got this quest here. We got two quests, actually. Um, we got this one here. Defiance has fallen. Abigail Singh never had a chance to find the Brotherhood of Steel's headquarters. Some place called Fort Defiance. But she did know the location of one of their bases, Camp Venture. If we look at this on the map, well, Camp Venture's down here. Got a couple people running around here. Here is level 214. Hi, my name is Bob. And then here's level 63, Captain... F Captain? Phoenix. CPT looks weird for me for some reason. Uh, and then... This is also a place we need to go to, Raleigh Clay's Bunker. Uh, both of these are considered uh, main... Main quests, I guess. Oh, okay. Uh, actually, looking at the menu here reminds me of something. So when the game is loading up, um, it's it keeps... It's, Keeps telling me that there's something in the atomic shop for free. Uh, some kind of clock or something like that. Um, but I don't know where it is. I mean, I don't want any of these things. Supposedly there's some kind of clock that's supposed to be for free. Um, and you'd think that they would have it over here. Oops, in the featured. Um, hmm, well, yeah, there it is, this tube clock, this Nixie tube clock is free, so, uh, let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and buy it, why not, right, it's free, Nixie tube alarm clock guaranteed to wake you up in time for the next reclamation day, camp items appear while in camp mode, unlock for free, sure, why not, there, free. I missed something last time. There was something they were giving away before, but I forgot to go in here and check it out. Um, I don't know if I ever used that thing, but uh, it was free. Maybe I'll put it in my camp. I don't know. It was kind of cool looking. I feel like I need to uh, go back to my camp and uh, do a little bit of weapon repair because I can't, I don't feel like I could be or should be walking around out here without uh, a melee weapon on me. So, as much as I hate to do this, um, golly, man, as much as I hate to do this, I think I need to go back to my camp, which is over here. It's not that far away. It's just that, you know, if you've followed this playthrough, you've heard me complain many times about the fact that uh, when I fast travel, my recording software oft often crashes. That was a pretty fast, fast travel. So hopefully uh, we'll be okay. Uh, there is an albino angler. I must have my camp in a bad place because a lot of times when I come here, bad things like that happen. Um, I do not, I really don't want to fight this thing. Um, but, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh gosh, he's hardly hurt at all. I need to take him back outside so that these, uh, my uh, turrets, well, my turrets are all on fire here. I need to see if I can repair these things. Uh, can I get close enough to repair it? Come on, repair. Why am I not getting the option to repair this thing? Maybe it doesn't need to be repaired yet? I don't know. So see, all I want to do is come back here to my camp, but uh, there's always bad guys here. So I'm just going to kind of lure him around. I don't think that was a neat move. The outside of my camp while my uh, turrets do the majority of the damage to these things. Sounds like one of them is still shooting. Alright, I guess I get to listen to this now. Try to jump up and repair these guys.
mean, these things save my bacon. They really do. Very helpful. Now this one here, I can't even get to it. I don't even know how to repair it. Look at that. I can't get high enough to, to do anything to it. I guess I need to build some stairs to get up on top of my uh, camp. Maybe that's what I'll do here real quick. Let's see. Um, let me bring up... Uh, here we go. And I want to build stairs. And stairs are over here. Okay, here's some stairs. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Whoops, no, no, no. Um, hmm, do I need to... I wish I could zoom out a little bit so I could see what the hell I'm doing. Um, I mean, I kind of wanted to connect them to my place, but um, no, I can't build it if it's red, period. Simple as that, I can't build it, so I have to get it to connect to my building somehow. Well, that's kind of a dumb place for them, I think, because it's right in front of my door. But, yeah, yeah, I don't, well, I don't know really don't like that it's right in front of my door. Let me take this down here. Uh, switch to modify. I want to um, store it. Store. And then I go back to build. Oh wow, did you see that? I could do that. Build. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, that'll work. Uh, now I'm going to uh, extend my little porch out here so that I can get to it a little easier. So back in the building. And we're going to do floors. Floors. And we're just going to plop a floor down there. Uh, cannot place item, it's telling me. Um... Okay. Now why can't I do this? Piece must be snapped into an existing piece. Huh. Oh, this is a this is an upper floor. I didn't realize that. Wooden foundation. Whoa. Astroturf. Shag carpet. Oh, interesting. Okay, why can't I not put this here? Nope. Build. I'm gonna hope. Uh, why can't I? Why can't I put it there? Intersects with an existing object. Huh. Well, that's too bad because that's exactly where I want to put it. Right there. You know, right at the foot of my stairs. That's the whole reason I'm doing this. Oh, I'd have to unlock these things. Hmm. Okay, well, I can't, um... Can't seem to do this. Which sucks. Concrete. Another concrete one. Well, I tell you, man. You know, you try to do something, and you can't. Modify. Store it. Uh... Uh, switch to build floors See now I can put this here, but I bet you anything that When I go now, I bet you when I go to put my stairs there. I won't be able to so let me go to uh, stairs and I want to put some stairs Yeah, see now I can't I can't put the stairs where I put them a moment ago. It won't let me so the hell with you, the game is telling me. So maybe I'll just go ahead and put him here. And then... Um... Put my stairs here. And then... Put a roof... Oh, floors here? Floors, maybe? Uh, floors. 
upper floor, maybe. Okay. And of course, I can't, um, I can't put anything here. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I really don't know how these people build these elaborate things. I really don't. Um, no idea. It's considered a roof. Can't do anything with it. Can't get it to snap to anything at all. No snapping at all. You're just going to have to deal with it. So. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I just, I don't know. I, it's very frustrating and annoying. But, um, yeah. I thought it would be fun to try to do this. Look at that. That one's letting me build stairs that way. But, you know, as soon as I go down there and try to put a floor in, it won't let me do it. Oh, now why is that one working? Why can I put stairs there, but not where I wanted to in the first place? Look at that. Fine, I'll put it there. There, screw you. Switch to modify, get rid of these stairs, store, store. Okay, so now I have stairs going up there, and so I have to go under the stairs to get into my place. Big deal. So now, at least I could get up on top of here, and, um... I can, uh, my turrets seem fine. That one seemed fine. This one's still smoking, but it seems healthy. So I could put more turrets up here, I guess. So turrets and traps. Uh, this is still the only turret I know how to build. Uh, this one requires level 2 home defense. Level 2 home defense. Well, how does a man get that? Well, let's look in here. Uh, level 2 home defense. Um, I don't know. Look at all these cards I've got, dude. Look at all these. Look at all these things. This is just in charisma. Endurance, perception, strength, intelligence, agility. Maybe it's under intelligence? Armor... These are, um... Yeah, see... This... I don't know. Maybe I need to read a book on how to do this crap, because... It just doesn't... Where's home defense? And where's level 2 home defense? I mean, I just find myself searching through here... Not knowing what the hell I'm doing. There it is. See, all I have to do is complain about it a little bit. This is level 1 home defense. And I hate to use one of my perks on something like this, you know? Uh, especially since I don't even know what good home defense is gonna... What good it's gonna, gonna do for me at this level 1 home defense, so... Um, yeah. So, anyway. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it. We'll just, uh... Because I don't, I don't come here very often, and then and even when I do, I do eventually, you know... Take care of these things that come at me. I'm gonna build one there. My workshop's budget has been exceeded. Well, okay, whatever the hell that means. So in that case, let's pick this one up and kind of center it a little bit. Modify. Um, edit. And we're gonna put it a little further down here place. There we go. Okay. Alright, game. Whatever. Alright, so the reason I came back here was to uh, repair my uh, weapon. So let's do that right now. Oh, I guess I can't do that in power armor. So let's hop out of my power armor. Uh, modify, repair. Um... Black diamond. I can't repair it. I can't repair it because I don't have any freaking plastic. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Well, I could at least maybe repair my shotgun. Got this assault rifle here that maybe I might want to consider using uh, instead of the machine gun. So, let us, um, take a look at how much 5.56 ammo I've got. 
ammo. Bunch of these rounds, so I'm going to take all of these. I'm going to get rid of this ammo that I'm not using. Whoops, that's my, uh, duck on it. That is my, um, sniper rifle ammo. I'm not using this. Or this. Or these. Or this. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this. And then... I'm actually walking around with fusion cores. Man, even though it's empty, it's still heavy. I don't need a mini nuke. I don't need plasma cartridges. I do need shotgun shells, and I do not need syringer ammo. No sense in walking around with these worn-out fusion cores. I guess I could try to sell those, maybe. But holy cow, these things are heavy. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and store these. I could always get into my stash at a... Um... You know, at a, uh, station. Just where I could sell something. Uh, weapons... I'm going to go ahead and scrap this 10mm machine gun that I had. It's a piece of crap anyway. So let's go ahead and uh, scrap this. And at least we learned something from it. Uh, the assault rifle. Uh, let's see if I could do anything to it to make it more powerful. Assault rifle. First I'm going to repair it. And then I'm going to... Well, unfortunately... I don't... Man, all of these different receivers... Oh, wait a minute. No, receiver. Ah. No, nope. unfortunately, I don't have anything that'll help me do more damage. I don't know what automatic receiver means. Just a higher fire rate. That's fine. Oh, tug on it. That's not what I wanted to do either. Uh, assault rifle. Long barrel. Short barrel. Sh stabilized short barrel. So these are all things that add more weight, but really don't... They, they lessen its range, but make them... They don't even make them more accurate. So I'm not really sure why I would want to do this. It just makes it heavier. Okay, whatever. Doggone it! Keep pressing the wrong stinking button? <laughs> Freaking annoying. Um, true stock. Okay, this... Gives me some better accuracy. Magazine. That's all I could put in it. Sights. Uh, I don't need a scope, really, I don't feel like. Because I already have a sniper rifle. So I don't need that. And no muzzle. I don't care about that either. Okay. So, I can't repair my freaking... Um, ski, because I don't have any plastic. And I'm... Pretty sure I don't have any... I mean, if I had plastic, it would be here, right? I mean, I, I would I would just have it on me for use. But I don't have it, unfortunately. Now, let's make sure that our armor doesn't break on us. Not that I'm really wearing any armor right now. Um, no, hold on. Let me switch to craft. No, I don't want to craft. I want to... Scrap some of these things. Let's scrap this. I'm going to scrap this. There, we'll scrap some things. Some things, that's what we'll do. And then, uh, there was talk or thoughts of maybe building a power armor station in here so I could repair my power armor. Um, is it under crafting, I think? Yeah. But, I need to find the plans for power armor station. I do not have plans for a power armor station yet. So I can't do that. Okay. Well, crud, man. Now I don't have a melee weapon. That sucks. Um, I really liked that melee weapon, right? Really liked it a lot. The thing was pretty awesome, but let's see if I could um, make something better. I could make the Blade of Bastet. It does 61 damage. Which is pretty good, it would seem. Because, let's see how much damage the Ski was doing. Black Diamond was doing 67. Level 25. It's pretty good. Oh, got it. Uh, craft. I'm bored. <laughs> 
Blade of Bestet, level 25, so he'll... Do I go ahead and make this do a little less damage per hit? Uh, kind of sucks. Increased armor penetration. Um... Yeah. Well, if I don't, then I'm not going to have a melee weapon. I just hate the thought of trading in 67 damage for 61, even though it's not that big of a difference. I can't... Um... Hmm. Scrap items... I wonder if I have anything I could scrap that would give me plastic. If I did, it would be under junk. You know? And unfortunately... I don't have any junk to to scrap. So, yeah. Oh yeah, and I've got these two power armor chassis here. Don't need both of them. So, let me... How am I going to do this? Um, I don't want both of these. This is... This is the Raider Power Armor. I don't want this. So... Then I have, um... This Power Armor chassis. Here. So I got that one. This is the Power Armor I want to keep. This one... I don't want. So... Uh... Collect. Okay, I recalled it to my inventory. And can I scrap it from here? I can. So I'm going to scrap this power armor. Okay, I scrapped that power armor. I'm going to scrap this other stuff here. Okay, I don't need this anymore either. Okay, I scrapped sports equipment. Okay, apparently that's a, an achievement. Okay. Um... Down to 165, that's pretty good. Still wearing the clown outfit, that's fine. I need plastic, man. I need plastic, and then I need a freaking... Um... Weapons workbench, so I could repair my... Stinking... Blade. <laughs> uh, so annoying, man. Black Diamond can't repair it. I need... I just need a little bit more plastic. That's all. I really want to use this weapon. Oh, well, we'll make do. Enter my power armor here. See, now that I have power armor with a, uh, a headlamp, I, I feel a little bit better walking around in it. Okay. Let's bring our map back up. And, uh, we will either want to go to this, um... Raleigh's Bunker, or down here to Fort Defiance. Apparently we want to do both of those things, and apparently both of them are uh, just as important. Side quests, well, we have this business, Follow the Overseer's Journey. Yeah, unfortunately we can't see that on the map. This one here is just a matter of making more stuff, and uh, we got this thing left over from before. So, I think I could get closer to Raleigh's Bunker than I can to Fort Defiance. Well, maybe not. Let's see. Fort Defiance is here. I could go to Sugar Grove or this research center and maybe go over to Fort Defiance from there. Let's try that. I hope I don't regret this. Well, uh, I'm going to fast travel. And um, we're going to hope that my uh, software doesn't crash. Here's one of the photos I took. Oh, man, I forgot. Uh, Roland Stoner, this uh, the guy that uh, I played with that one time, he actually sent me a note. <laughs> he saw the video and sent me a comment, left me a comment. I haven't responded back to him, though. I need to respond back to him. So that was kind of cool. He actually saw the episode. Um, so that was pretty cool. All right, so we are going in this direction. I want to get to... No, 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 no. I thought we were going to go to Fort Defiance. 
Turn this off, turn this on. There we go. This is where I want to go, right? We want to go to Fort Defiance. Yeah. That's where I want to go. Okay, it's kind of in the same direction. Sort of. Why is it giving me a circle there? As if it doesn't know where Fort Defiance is. Hmm. Alright, we're going to run in this direction. Towards uh, where I believe Fort Defiance to be. Is the sun coming up or going down? Where's my clock? Where does it tell me what time it is? Does it? What it? There's no time in this game? Alright, am I being stupid here? Does it just tell me on the screen and I'm just not seeing it? I don't see it. Alright, anyway. Let's keep moving. Hmm, there's something up here, up ahead. Some kind of structure up ahead, it looks like. Right? There's something... What is that right there? Oh, jeez. Got some super mutants over here. They're fighting dogs. And uh, whatever the heck. It looks like a mine, maybe? This is kind of funny, watching the super mutant fight these dogs. <laughs> Look how he shoots. <laughs> oh, man, they took care of that super mutant. Hey, what's up, doggy? Well, see, normally this is when I would... Um, Ah, oh, crap, this is not the right weapon to use. Use my, uh, melee weapon, but I ain't got one, so... To waste some shells on this guy. Oh, he's not happy... ...that I shot his buddy. Man, I would really rather be using a melee weapon here. This thing takes a long to load. Reload? What are you doing? See what this guy's got on him. Nothing. Nothing at all. Probably because I didn't kill him, so I don't get his goodies. Alright, what do you got? Meat. I mean, I guess I'll take the meat. I might need to prepare some food at some point. The heck is this? Some kind of arch. Interesting. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool view. This, uh, let's see, over there. I don't know what we're looking at in that direction. Looks like a McDonald's. Doesn't look like it has an M on it, like it's a McDonald's. I wonder if that's the building we're looking at. Fort Defiance is over here. Somewhere. So just kind of like some kind of rock archway kind of thing here. Kind of interesting. Oh man, there's a bunch of... Oh, little, these little dudes. Oh, level 18. Look at that. Look at that place. Interesting. That's not showing up on my map at all. This thing is acting like Fort Defiance is in that direction. I don't know what's happened to this game, but the last couple of episodes I've played, the the compass is off. See, so yeah, if you look, it looks like I'm looking in this direction, right? It looks like I'm looking to the right of Fort Defiance, but if we come here, according to my compass, I'm looking right at it. That's happened the last couple of episodes. I don't know if they broke something or what. But whatever the heck this is, I don't know. There's no sign here or anything telling what it is. But uh, it's kind of neat. The hell is that? That's pretty bizarre. What am I looking at there? Is this what I'm looking at? No, I'm looking at this thing. What the hell's that? Look at all this weird stuff down here. We're getting into the scary part of the map. It's exciting. Okay, all of a sudden I'm thirsty. I go to my aid. And uh, we will drink... Uh, oh, Nuka Cherry. Get our health back. Alright. 
let me uh, go into my favorites here. And we are going to put uh, this new assault rifle in slot number two. And we'll see how we like this weapon. Well, we'll go ahead and harvest this. All right, down the hill we go. Power armor away! <laughs> so we saw a liberator coming up the hill here from up, up above. I don't know where he went. Oh, he's actually still down there, I think. Yeah, might as well kind of clear the place out a little bit before we get down there. Oh, man! I thought I timed that right. I guess I didn't. Alright, take him out. We know that there's a ghoul down here, too. If he's still alive. Oh, he's dead, alright. It's a tinker's bench. The game's telling me caution, which would indicate that there's still baddies down here. Oh, there's a turret down here. Let's try not to get shot by this turret. Oh man, the sky just changed colors. Yeah, but there's a turret there, all right. Did a lot of damage to it just then. Okay, get rid of that turret. The game is still telling me caution. Ouchies. Oh, you SOB. Ooh, another one. Holy cow, dude. <laughs> Man, that guy turned on the gas, didn't he? <laughs> Good grief. The little dude was moving. Might as well grab the stuff they left behind. Look at these, like, lines here. Look at that. Those, uh, shadows from, uh, the power lines? Pretty neat. I guess that's what that is. Interesting. Now let's see what this little place is. A little place that doesn't even show up on my map, it doesn't look like. There's an armor workbench. There's a tinker's workbench. It's too bad there's not a, um... You know, weapons workbench here because if there's plastic here I could pick up. Nothing in the machine gun turret, unless I already looted it and I already forgot. Some circuits. So, yeah, just a little place with some workbenches here. That's about it, really. Some chimes. I like the sound of them. I like it a lot. I don't know what the shortening is for. Well, nice little place somebody had here. Got a little bed there. And then, uh... The tree doesn't go anywhere. I'm gonna take these because they give me aluminum. No, well, just somebody's little shack. Pretty cool, man. Kind of dig it. Did I loot this guy? Oh. Just a metal pile. Okay. A metal pile. Okay. That could have been the remains of one of those Liberator dudes. I'm not sure. Okay. Well, just a little random thing here in the middle of nowhere. Pretty cool. I like it. Let's go ahead and uh, scrap. Okay, next time I find a uh, weapons workbench, I should have enough stuff to repair my ski weapon. My favorite weapon. All right, let's keep moving. Here's something just that I can't interact with, which is weird. Walking right.
right into the sun. It's not really good strategically. I hear water running. Now I don't. I did, but I don't now. Looks like it's fall here. Well, I guess it is, right? Well, actually, I, actually, I don't know what time of year it is, do I? Again, I was looking for time and date. I thought this thing told me a time and date somewhere, man. Under data, there we go. Okay, so it is. It's October twenty fourth, twenty one o two. So it is fall, and uh, seven thirteen a.m. Okay, I finally figured it out. This place, I think, is going to be trouble. I think it's going to be big time trouble. Although, um, I'm not really even sure what I'm looking at here. Is it the remains of a fort? Got a little obstacle course here. Hey, what's up, dude? Hmm. Somebody's shooting. I guess it's a scorched over there, probably shooting at something. Plop. Something to my left. You heard that. Those explosions. So there's some kind of course here. We've discovered Camp Venture. This is not what I was expecting at all. Looks fun. This is kind of neat. This is like a fun place. Man, it is hard to see, right? I crouch down here. Who else is shooting at me? Clear this place out a little bit. Ah, thanks for shooting me so I could see where you are. Level 68? The hell? Oh, level 68 scorched? Ah, oh, I got him. I feel like there's something to my left here. Where'd he go? Shoot him in the head. There is something moving around to my left. Got him. Nice. Somebody else shoot now. Oh no, I didn't get him. Damn it! Now I got this guy running around over here. Got him. Nice. Who the Dude, get the hell out of here. Took way too many shots to kill him. Uh hello. Okay, he has nothing on him. Well, there's another level 68. Man, level 68s. What the hell? Oh no, still not dead. Sheesh. And all you have on you is some shotgun shells? That's it? Level 68 jerk? Very interesting. Like I said, not at all what I was expecting. Military ammo bag. That's got some goodies on it. That's pretty cool. Thunder. Thunder 75. Well, Vance isn't picking up on anything. It's got to be a weapons workbench around here, right? Pretty cool. I guess it's a helipad, huh? Machinery here. That might be a weapons workbench right there. One of these is bound to be. Tinker's workbench. I think I woke somebody up. Ow. 
Ouchies. Hey, quit it. That hurts. Stop hitting me. A fire axe. I don't know how much damage the fire axe does. Let's pick it up and take a look at it. Fire axe. Weapons. Fire axe. 85. Hmm. It's slow, though. I must say I'm a little bit intrigued. I don't think I want a slow weapon, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use a slow weapon. Tinkers. Weapons. <sighs> Gotta get out of my power armor to do this. That is so annoying. Why? Why is it that I could scrap items in power armor, but I can't craft anything in power armor? Answer me that. That is pretty freaking annoying. Uh, so I want to repair my ski weapon here. Go and repair this while I'm here. I'd hate for it to go bad. I use it a lot. And uh, I want to scrap the fire axe. I didn't learn anything from it, which is too bad. And then uh, we'll scrap stuff. Scrap all my junk. Okay. And I don't. I'm not carrying any extraneous weaponry. So it sounds like I'm going to have to remember to keep some um, plastic on me at all times in case I need to repair my ski in an emergency. I like how the hat pokes through. It's so funny. Some binoculars there, in case you missed them earlier in the game. I don't need no stinking binoculars. I got some ammo in here. Unlock this ammo box. Goodies. Little firing range here. Gangrenous Feral Ghoul. Pleasant. So who put up this wall here? That doesn't look like something the military would have done. That looks like something raiders or a super mutant would have done interesting to me because you wouldn't think that those guys would care too much about safety. Well, let's see if there's anybody else to shoot. Power armor thing down there. That might be good. All right, time to drink something again. Seemed like I just did that. So drink just some regular old uh, water. And we'll eat something while we're here too. Oh man. Here we go. Got an assault rifle on him. Maybe I'll learn something from scrapping this assault rifle. Of course, I gotta step out of here first. Scrap. Maybe I don't need to step out of there for that. Short assault rifle, we'll scrap this. Ah, uh, we unlocked the refined receiver. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think that that's gonna help with the damage this thing does. Refined receiver. Well, actually, it would help me get, do a little bit more damage, but I need Gunsmith Rank 4 in order to do that. Gunsmith Rank 4. Go in here. My perks. Um, gunsmith. Gunsmith, right here. 
So I guess I'm at rank one in Gunsmith, right? Is that what is that what this thing's trying to tell me? It's got one star there, so if I accepted this... Now... I... Ooh! Look at this! I am now at Gunsmith rank four! I think! <laughs> I think I am! Um... If I go in here to... Where's my gunsmith? Why do I not see gunsmith on any of my... You see gunsmith anywhere? I don't see gunsmith. Where's gunsmith? Um... Oh, okay. Whoa. Huh. Four unused points. Okay. Okay. And, um, Charisma, I have three unused points there. First Aid, Plumber, and Warrior. Huh. I could get this. I don't know what this has to do with Charisma. Oh, it that's because it doesn't have anything to do with Charisma. It has to do with the other thing. I thought that if I picked Charisma... There we go. Uh, so I have three unused points here. I could spend it... I have, And I have these. I have two Bodyguards' and two EMTs'. See? Uh... This is teammate crap. This is play reviving players. Hunger and thirst grow 40% more slowly when in camp or in a team workshop. Well, I don't really care about my hunger and thirst when I'm in camp. You know? I don't even know why I have these stupid cards. Why do I have these? I'd like to get rid of these. They're just wasting points. I could be spending three points on something else instead of this. So I don't know how I ended up with these. But um, that is not what I wanted. But anyway, the cool thing is, is that now I'm at level 4 in Gunsmith, which I had no idea. So now I could go in here and I could put the Refined Receiver on here. The drawback to the Refined Receiver is it weighs a little... Actually, it weighs the same. Oh, no, it doesn't. I'm, I should be compa comparing it to Standard Receiver. So, Standard Receiver does 33 damage, weighs 12.8. 12, 12 refined Receiver does 36 damage, but it weighs a little more. But I think that's not a bad trade-off. So we're going to do a little bit more damage with each um, bullet that enters an enemy's body. So that's pretty cool. Okay, that was satisfying. Uh, I do realize that uh, my power armor was recalled, but um, I'm quite okay with uh, walking around without it for the time being. Oh, a control terminal. Boy, I damn near missed that. Let's look at this. Ooh, helipad controls are for authorized personnel only. Please see Eddie Hayes for passcode. Cargo bot supply drop. Upcoming deliveries notice. Dangerous tech. To all Brotherhood of Steel personnel, with the last cargo bot down, Senior Knight Wilson has ordered all dangerous technology to be stored in the secure cache in the basement of Hut Vest. It may not be as secure as the off-site depot, but good luck to any raider that tries breaking into it. The more tech we can secure, the safer our future may be. Ad Victorium. And then upcoming deliveries. This week's upcoming deliveries. Send any new requests my way. Eddie, Monday, 10 gallons of purified water. Tuesday, 5 units of stim packs. 2 case antiseptic. 2 units bandages. Wednesday, 5 cases general rations. See me for specifics. Thursday, 12 cases of beer. Friday, 20 units of batteries. And here we could, uh, uh, we cannot, unfortunately, establish a connection to get a supply drop, which is too bad. So this is kind of neat. We could walk around the perimeter of this place. We could help ourselves to some goodies. Oh, man. Another assault rifle that guy had. That's kind of cool, really, because I could scrap that. Man, if I could scrap that and get the hardened receiver, you know that'll do more damage. Let's see what this guy had on him. Combat rifle. Okay, now we're talking. I thought I had killed a scorched down here as well, but maybe not. Yeah, maybe I didn't. What is that? Uh, just a board. Here is another military ammo bag, which is good. Got some good stuff in it that I need. Some dog tags. 
There's really no sense in taking those. Well, I'd hate to leave them just laying there. I don't know why. Um, kind of like walking around the perimeter of this place. Let's uh, let's continue our walk around the perimeter. So way over there. Oh nope, I thought that was a scorched lying there. Look, <laughs> they look similar. Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> Same colors. Same color scheme. This place is really neat. These are power armor things, now that I'm not wearing power armor. But, I could still repair it. Let me just finish walking around the perimeter of this place. Man, it just comes to an end over here. Oh, look at this. Somebody had a little uh, place set up where they did some napping, I guess. Can't get in there, though. I feel like I'm walking real slow all of a sudden. Okay. Power armor. Scrap or repair. Got an armor workbench right here. Uh, let me get out my power armor. Because it needs to be repaired. Hopefully that's close enough. Modify repair. Alright, let's get to work on this thing. Our torso's A1 tip-top shape. Don't ask me how that happened. Our helmet's perfect. Left leg is just about perfect. And then this crap is in really bad shape. So let's repair it. Oh, man. Plastic. you got to be kidding me. Out of plastic again. Do I have any plastic to scrap? Nope. No more plastic. So, I need more plastic in order to repair that. And the gas canister does not have plastic in it, so... <laughs> Let's uh, see if we can find ourselves some plastic around here. Duct tape. That's always good to have. Some weights. No, thank you. Here is the formation of the Brotherhood of Steel. Appalachia Online, Captain. I know most of you love America. Good old red, white, and blue. But those of us who served at Mariposa know something. America failed. Not because of its citizens. Who lived clean lives filled with hardship in a never-ending war. Certainly not because of its fighting men and women. God bless them. No. Its leaders failed us. Senators, generals, presidents, all those things. Their failure almost destroyed all mankind. But I look around here, and I see people too stubborn, people too damn ornery to die. We've fought, and we've endured, and finally have a small patch of safety. But having a home isn't enough. Something more. Holy cow. His purpose. We cannot look to the America of old. <laughs> we have to build a As we break bread together, let us forge together something new. Something strong. Something we can be proud of. Something we can build upon. We'll preserve what's best for what's come before us. We will reclaim what was lost. Let us forge a brother. <laughs> well, um, when all that started, we were listening, trying to listen to that recording. And oh, I didn't need a shotgun. And um, all of a sudden, there was a bunch of enemies, and I was if I wasn't listening to the recording, I was going to say, I bet you that uh, another player has shown up. And sure enough, that's exactly what has happened. That is why all of these enemies have uh, suddenly spawned here. Um, I need to end this episode, so hopefully there's uh, not enough not enemies around here, so that I'll be able to... I think you could stop the game even if there are enemies, right? But uh, there were a ton of things to listen to inside of that building, so I'm going to end this episode here. When we come back next time, we'll probably have to fight our way back in here. It wasn't that bad. And then we could go in there and listen to all that stuff. 
and uh, take care of some of the things that we want to take care of. So I hope you'll join me then, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, why don't you let me know by leaving a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again in the next episode.